Hey, what's up? Today's a big day. In this episode, I'm gonna make my own wine. Let me tell you a story. So, a few weeks ago, we were uh, cleaning out our garage and we came across this box that we realized was a kit, a wine kit to make your own wine. Yo, why do they have a wine kit here? And I decided, hey, why not make it? Otherwise, it's just gonna sit there. So, I went out and bought all the supplies I will need to make the wine from the kit. Check it out. So here's all the stuff. I am pretty much got everything. I got my, I don't know what, airlock, measuring things, and uh, it's full of... Get to the end! I got my trusty assistant here, Hannah, who's gonna help me out. And we're going to make this wine. So, it's November 2nd today, which means, and it says on the kit that it'll take six weeks to make. So, hopefully, if I start it today, which I'm starting today, I can have it in time for Christmas and for the holidays. So, that'll be cool. So, I ordered a lot of wine bottles. And this is supposed to be a white wine, according to the box, the kit that came in. So, I have clear bottles that I guess are used more for white wines. And I have about uh, 30 bottles, and the wine kit makes, says it makes 26 bottles. So, it's gonna be a lot of wine. So as you can see, I got the juice in the bucket. And I'm stirring it. Just added the wine yeast. Now I'm stirring the yeast in. Just sealed the lid on. And I add the stopper. with this airlock thing of a bobber. I don't know if, I just, if I'm doing this right. The instructions are not that clear. So, and I'm gonna leave this for a few days. Day. <laughs> okay, this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm gonna see if this new tube is gonna actually make wine siphon from the carboy. From there, all the way down to the fermenter bucket, because I gotta clean out this carboy again before I can start degassing and clear. Holy crap, it's working! So now, I'm siphoning it back from the bucket, the primary fermenter, back into the carboy after I cleaned it out. And now I gotta stir this wine until there are no more bubbles. I've been doing this for at least a half hour now. They say it can take at least from an hour to three days. So there should be no bubbles left. And there are plenty of foam and bubbles left. Oh my god, this is ridiculous! I'm going at this for like three days! Four days now! So, after talking to a friend, I realized I'm going to have to take a different approach. So I was literally stirring that bucket, that carboy, for like five days. It's not working anymore. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put the wine back into there and then I'm gonna put the wine back into there and I'm gonna put the clearing stuff so it's supposed to clear it up and make it into white wine you know what white wine I guess looks like that looks like apple cider right now and then I'm gonna top it up with this bottle of the white wine that I bought and then I'm gonna put this in the basement for a few weeks so here we go now my friend uh, said to splash it Try to get rid of the CO2. That's what I'm gonna do. 
try to splash it as much as possible. Putting it back in the car, boy. So now I'm adding this stuff. Metabisophilate. <laughs> In here, metabisulfite. There you go. And I gotta stir this up. So I just added that to the wine. That stuff really smelled really bad. It was like strong stuff. Now I have to add kizosol. This stuff. Now I have to stir vigorously for one minute. Now I have to wait. 15 to 30 minutes before I can add the last pouch, which is this stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to move this down into the basement. Okay, that was a pain in the ass, but it got down to the basement. And now this will sit in the dark. And today it is the 28th. November so I'll come back in about a week or a few days and check on it hopefully this will look more like a white wine and not a cider <laughs> all right so today's December 20th a few days before Christmas it's been almost six weeks or around six weeks since I first started making this wine started making it around like November 2nd or 3rd so I was hoping to get this bottle and Drinking it on Christmas, it was good. So I'm gonna taste it tonight, and if it's good, I'll bottle it. But if it's bad, I don't know. Maybe I'll just give it to Hannah. I'm kidding, I would never give it to my dog. That'd be awful. Okay, here we go. Well, you can't really see it, but there it is. We're gonna bring this bad boy upstairs. So, there it is definitely clearer than before, but it looks like apple juice. I thought white wine was going to look kind of yellowy, but we'll see. Okay, so I have the siphon ready, and I'm going to put it in the glass and give it a taste. I'm going to give this a taste. Tastes like, I me mean, smells like, uh, sweet. Oh man, I'm there. It's uh, it smell. It tastes like how it smells. Kind of like, yeah. Kind of good actually. <laughs> I, I think it's good. I don't know. Uh, this is supposed to have. This is how it's supposed to taste, or if um, yeah. It is. I mean, I've had a few wines in my life. Not a lot, but it is, so it's not that. It doesn't taste like, whoa, there's so many different flavors. It kind of tastes like uh, table wine. Yeah, table wine. Okay, so I'm going to sit around for a bit and make sure I don't get a stomachache, and then I'll start bottling it. <laughs> okay, I just topped it up using that, and now it's time to cork. Twenty-eight bottles in total. I don't always drink wine, but when I do, 